is Plasma TV. Let's get started. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started. wire, which is very useful. A cooling fan, that can be useful. So I have right here some really useful components, right here some high voltage MOSFETs and a high voltage capacitor, well, that could be very useful. Yeah, this one's going to be very useful to use. And there's a whole bunch more on the board, just over there. And yeah, just right here there's some. Um, Right here, some more high voltage capacitors and some high wattage resistors. Very useful. More here, and another capacitor. Nice heat sink, which looks like it contains some ICs that are underneath it. That's interesting. And some more MOSFETs. Very useful, and more on this side too. These heat sinks I really like. I can really use these heat sinks for stuff. Very nice. Alright. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to get all of these boards out and then see if there's anything useful. But so far, I pulled this out, and here's a transformer. Fifty volts AC, five amps. Not too bad. So the transformer here could be very useful for something. Hmm. A little acrylic uh, insulator. Interesting. I might have a use for this piece of acrylic. Could do something cool with that. So I'm piling stuff here that I think is useful. So I'm piling stuff over here that I think is useful, and then stuff over here that I'm putting to the side is useless. You'll see after. Okay, so I got these two separated, so now I go ahead and discard this. And this, well, is probably useless, although the surface mount processors could be useful, but I think what I might be more interested what I might be more interested in is this heat sink. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, this looks really beautiful. This looks very beautiful, all these little surface mount components. Some of them might be useful, some of them might not be, but you know I might just keep this as a decorative piece of art because it actually looks very beautiful, all the colors on here. But what I want to do is remove this heat sink, see what it is, and keep the heat sink for something else. There we go. This heat sink can be useful for keeping other stuff cool. So this is useful. 
And here is the IC with the thermal sheet on it to keep it, well, actually it's a solid paste. Well, whatever this is, it's probably something important that gets really hot. Well, there's a chance I may not salvage for any components that's on here because it may not be useful, except some of the surface mounts. They could be useful, but I might just keep this as is because it looks beautiful. Maybe I'll put some LEDs in front of it and make this an artistic lo looking piece. That could be useful for a future project. There we go. Pull this out and here's another IC. Not sure what this one is, but I can probably use it. But what I like is it has a whole bunch of capacitors. These ones could be very useful for our high frequency, and these are for, I don't know what the capacitance are. Oh yeah, some are 100 microfarads and some are 10 microfarads. Yeah, these could be useful. I actually need these because I used them for other stuff. Oh, and also another little microcontroller right here. Yeah, this piece here is actually very useful. This is good to keep and salvage for the components. Actually, I don't think I have any use for this. Maybe these audio jacks, or these jack... Maybe these auxiliary jacks right here can be useful. Maybe to use for video, audio, most likely audio. So I may use those for something. And here are these connections. I could probably do the same thing too with these, but these are kind of uh, obsolete. So in my opinion, it's kind of useless, but I might take these out to use them for something. Also this little capacitor. So yeah, this could be useful. Here's something else that could be useful, not necessarily keeping it on the board, but this could be useful for putting wires on to attach wires to stuff by attaching these connected to a circuit. So this could be useful. Now these ribbon cables, they could be useless, but I'm going to test it to see if it maybe contains silver, because as you can see right here, at the very end, right here where these leads are, it could be silver. So maybe I can salvage it for precious metals and this could contain silver. Maybe. So I'll put it over here. And here's something else that's very useful. Right here it says caution, high voltage. That means these capacitors here are high voltage capacitors and so are these MOSFETs. Definitely can do something useful with this circuit. Oh yeah, lots of interesting components. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of a cooling putty. Oh, I see. I know what that is. That's cooling putty to cool down right here for these MOSFETs so they don't overheat. Interesting. I think I may understand why this TV had a problem. It overheated. Alright, so here are some parts that are actually very useful. Okay, so now here's a closer look of what I've collected so far. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of screws, which is very useful. You can use them for many things. I have some of this sticky cooling putty, which to the touch it feels very cold and very strange feeling actually. It could be very useful to keep some circuits cool down. So that's a useful piece to have. And now here are these little circuits that I found. Don't really have a mean big use for them except maybe this high voltage capacitor and probably these high voltage 
high voltage transistors. I might use them for something. These surface mounts will probably be useless, but could use them, not really sure. Okay, I have another circuit board. That's also another high voltage one, where I have these high voltage capacitors, high wattage resistors, and some more heat sinks that can be very useful. And then some more MOSFETs that are right here. These can be very useful for other future projects. And right here, I have another very interesting motherboard. This one right here has a lot of interesting components. A lot of little transistors, some different types of capacitors, some MOSFETs, some transformers, some heat sinks that has a bunch of MOSFETs and transistors on them, some little microcontrollers, full bridge rectifier, also some of these uh, relays, some more high voltage capacitors. A bunch of interesting little components. And I have right here some other interesting components. I have right here these little connection wires. This may probably be useless, but I might use it to just want to connect wires together to something. Could be useful. This heat sink is also very useful. This fan. Fans are always useful. I also have this is power supply. This can be very useful for stuff. And some wire. And there you have it. Thank you for watching a teardown video of this old flat screen TV where I have salvaged a bunch of interesting little components that came from multiple different circuit boards. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.